All right, guys, I'm going to have a quick look at the comments. But listen, let's move on to the match I think that most people are waiting for, which is Tottenham versus Juventus. Tottenham 2.2, draw 3.5, and Juventus 3.5 also. Um, obviously, Tottenham leading with two away goals. But I would say right now, this is anybody's game. Uh, Spurs 1.4 to qualify, though, with the home advantage. Let's start with you, Stuart. What are you? Are you betting this game? Are you excited? Are you nervous? Run us through how you're feeling right now. Um, I have a bet for this one. I'm very uh-huh. nervous. Um, uh-huh. I'm going to enjoy. I'm determined to enjoy it. Uh, basically, after Juve went two 0 up in the first game, I sat there and went, right, I better re- enjoy the next 150 minutes of football because ain't going to be nothing left in the Champions League for Spurs this season. <laughs> And then suddenly they're right back in it and two all draw, two away goals and looking like the better side. This could be really, really good. I'm so looking forward to this, what I have to say. Um, Yeah, I'm I'm going to enjoy it. I think it's going to be good. Okay. And that's, as always, Stuart likes to keep us keep us uh, in suspense with his bets. (laughs) We'll come back to him there. Um, Alex, it's, uh, you know, it... this could be an under 2.5 goals game. I think it's going to be really tight. Not many games. That... <laughs> what, always, I'm just expecting no you? goals in any of these. Like, exactly. I, because I just I think, think that the second you... thing is always like quite... I know. I think because I think that, well, I suppose in this game... it. it it's, I think it's wide open. I think we, you know, we, you might get a team that gets a goal or, and, and, and then keep the door shut. I'm not playing the the, go, the total goals market, that's for sure. Um, are you are you predicting goals? You actually generally like to play the goals market, don't you? Yes, it's one of my favorite markets, uh, the the goals market. Uh, listen, how the things are. Um, really important for Juventus right now. They won against uh, Lazio. Incredible uh, goal from uh, Paolo Dybala. That was uh, Saturday because. If they were uh, uh, to play Sunday, uh, for sure that their game will be postponed. We know that uh, Fiorentina lost uh, tragically one of the their captain, uh, Davide Astori, who died at age of 31. Uh, so all the um, round in Italy was postponed from Sunday matches. But it was really important for Juventus that they won against um, Lazio and uh, uh, Napoli lost against Aceroma. So. Mm. They are full of confidence. They are coming in this one full of confidence. I I think that uh, they have the experience, the Champions League experience. They are very determined to to go further. I think that Tottenham will have a defensive approach uh, because they scored two amazing uh, away goals. Mm. Coming from 2-0, it was really important. They showed that uh, they are strong mentally and playing at Wembley uh, says everything. Uh, If uh, I remember correct, uh, they are uh, unbeaten. They they lost only two times at uh, Wembley all season long, something like that, if I remember correct. Um, Mm -hmm. So it will be really tough for Juventus to win this one. But I'm not going on the goals market. I expect goals. I think that we will see over 2.5 goals. But I go with uh, Juventus double chance at 1.8. Draw double chance. I don't think that Juventus will lose this one. One point, uh, 1.7, sorry, for uh, Juventus uh, draw double chance. Well, well, we've got yeah, uh, uh, Juventus times two. I'm guessing that means double chance uh, there. And both teams to score 2.67, uh, says Bakerman. Interesting stuff. Um, I th- Well, yeah, we'll, we'll wait. Uh, Martin, what do you think there? Obviously, going Juventus double chance. I think it's going to be tight. Could this game go into overtime? And are you playing the outright? Uh, it certainly could go into extra time. I don't see why not. To do so, though, it would have to finish 2-2 because otherwise away goals would take Tottenham through. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it, it's probably not going to finish uh, 2-2, really. That would be quite a coincidence. Um, I mean, it could could well finish 1-1 and then Tottenham progress. I think they'd be very happy with that result. Mm. Um, I mean, Tottenham are the, are the clear favourites to qualify now after that fantastic performance at the event of stadium. Um as Stuart mentioned, they were, they had a dreadful opening period, but then when they got into the game, they absolutely dominated for the last 75 minutes. I really think they should have won that one. I think they'll be surging with confidence going into the second leg. So if I was playing the outrights, I'd probably just go for a straight Tottenham win, to be honest, 2.25. 
I think Juventus have been a very good team over the years, but I think uh, Father Time is starting to creep up with that defence a little bit. Barzali's got to be about 36 now. Chiellini, they're, they're getting on a bit. Um, and Buffon wasn't getting down quite as quickly as we'd have liked, um, or his fans would have liked in the first leg. Uh, that Ericsson shot just rolled underneath him. So I think Tottenham have got a very good chance in this one. But my favourite bet has to be Harry Kane to score at any time. Odds of 2.18. Don't see how you can yeah. overlook such good on a man that is just in amazing form. 39 goals in 41 games for club and country this season. And that's despite not scoring in August. He's been on fire ever since then. And uh, I think he has the the, the ability, the movement to uh, really cause trouble for this ageing Juventus defence. And that just looks a really good price to me. Yeah, I absolutely agree with you, Martin, I have to say. Um, certainly on the outrights, Tottenham 2.2 um, at home, leading uh, with away goals. I think that Tottenham have got this one, and I certainly think they're going to qualify. Um, Stuart, are you playing <laughs> your team to win? No, I'm not. I'm not playing my team to win because I think the draw is a, an actual possibility here. Um, as long as it's a draw to see Spurs go through, I'm absolutely fine with that. Obviously, yeah. it's quite interesting, really, because you look at the stuff that's coming out from Juve and they're talking about playing, oh, yeah, Chiellini, we're going to do our best to get him on the pitch. Uh, Higuain, there's an outside chance, but we're going to do our best to get him on the pitch. Um, whoever else is there. A um, couple of other players, they're talking about chancing them to see how Marianne Mandzukic. Mario Mandzukic was so important in that first game, as far as I was concerned. He really put in so much work. And when he went off, they definitely gave up a lot of the field. So there's a chance he's going to miss this one. So Juventus, the old lady of Italian football, one of the best European sides of recent years, are relying on half-fit players and players who are coming back from injury to actually knock Spurs out. What's going on here? It's yeah. brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> um, me, for my bet, I'm on, uh, I'm on both teams to score because I think we will see goals from both sides. Okay. You get 1.8 with Ladbrokes, William Hill, uh, Bet365, 18 bet. And you can get better. You can get 1.85 with Bet there. So um, shop around. I think there's a website you can go to, SPR odds or something like that. So find the best odds. Shop around, see Fuck what you off. get, and uh, let us know in the comment section below. Something like that. Something like that. Something like yes, that. I think actually if you guys... Um, if you guys ever want to check out uh, who exactly we are, SBR Rating Guide, uh, which has got, uh, obviously, you uh, find the best bookies uh, that suit you and also uh, that are, are have a good listing and also SBRodds.com. All the links actually are in the description right now if you want to go and check that out. Um, uh, so you, you, if you were to play that right, though, you think this could be a draw? Spurs will be happy with a, with a, a at least a one-all draw. And yeah, then your both okay, teams to score back up them. Yeah, you're getting through to the next round of the Champions League quarter five. Yeah, oh, I, I'm okay with I that. really I'm, hope. I'm right I really hope Spurs go through. I tell you, I tell you. Well, my money's on Spurs uh, to win. That's for sure. Absolutely love that Harry Kane bet uh, to score at any time as well. A uh, couple of uh, couple of commenters uh, did uh, chime in there and as well said uh, value on that uh, Harry Kane anytime goal scorer. Stu, is that? Uh, do you think uh, Harry Kane there will uh, step up to the plate and get a goal for you guys? He's looked a little bit off the ball in the last couple of games. Maybe he's saving himself for this one. Um, certainly the European nights seem to suit him nicely. The the game seems to, he's got the technical ability. Um, he's Nowadays he's got the pace. When he first came on the scene, he definitely had the technical ability, but he looked to be maybe half a yard off the pace of a game. Now he seems a quarter of a yard ahead of most other players. So some of that is physical ability and the fact he's worked really, really hard to get himself in the great shape. The other side of it, he's got such a good understanding of the game of football and the way it plays out on the pitch. So I think he can score in this one um, because there aren't many players in the world like him and uh, Italian defences will struggle, certainly if they're having to play someone like Benatia. Mm -hmm. And um, Martin, you obviously, well, we're both on um, uh, Tottenham there. Do you think Juventus score in this match? Uh, a couple of people are looking, uh, both teams to score. Um, we've got uh, Germani says Juventus and clean sheet. So that's totally on the on the, on the the opposite side where we're thinking here. But um, uh, uh, Backerman says Juventus team total over one goal at 1.97. Are we seeing both teams to score or uh, is, to is Tottenham going to push for that clean sheet? 
I think Tottenham would love a clean sheet, but yeah, I could probably see Juventus getting on the score sheet here. A lot of it depends on who starts. Uh, as Stuart mentioned, there's big question mark over Higuain. Um, they're, they're desperate to try to get him fit, but, but we're not sure if he's going to make it. Uh, Dybala's only just come back from a long-term injury. Mandzukic might be out. So if they're missing all of those players, they'll really struggle. So for me, I'd like to um, wait and see the starting lineups before calling that one. Um, yeah, my, my, my favourite one is just for Harry Kane to cause problems for the ageing Juventus defence. But I think Tottenham should go in pretty confident here. I can't see Juventus scoring twice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. And that, I know that Harry Kane bet as well has served you well in recent times um, when you play it. Alex, what were you going to say? Dybala will start for sure. Uh, he just scored against Lazio in the last round in the 92nd minute. Higuain will start for sure because they will go in the attack from the first minute. And yes, I took uh, draw, draw double chance Juventus at 1.7 with high stake on that. But give me also... Juventus, simple as that, at 3.5 to win the match. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.